During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. I can hardly walk. I just bent down to pick up the chainsaw and my back just went completely. It's, uh, I suffer from sciatica in my hip and I've been having that since my 20s. It's like, a, uh, believe it or not, it's a drumming injury, sitting on bad drumming stools, twisting and turning all the time. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is worse than that. This is, this is in the lower back, but it's the same kind of thing, so I've trapped a nerve in my back. Come on inside and we'll get you some... What? We don't have anything. Some herbal brew and beer, I think. Oh. Oh, beer's oh, the uh, oh I like having a bad back. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's 11 o'clock in the morning, let's get you a bottle of beer. It's, I mean, it's a uh, depressant and a relaxant. It, it really is quite sore. It's, it, it's okay if I'm walking down an incline, but when I'm walking up, it's just every step is like, a, like somebody stabbing your nerves in the back. This is the future. <laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? Do you reckon Can steps? Oh yeah, Katie uh, sharpened the chainsaw by hand. Uh, how long did it take you? Flowers. Yeah, yeah, it's working fine. Well, it, 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 it's, it's sharp, so there's nothing wrong with the chainsaw, it was just the chain needed sharpening up. Uh, but yeah, that was a completely wasted journey. I mean, I, I was out there for what, half an hour? Steps or slope? I don't think, oh, I don't think it matters. Let me just get up here. I knew that one would hurt. The, af the aftermath of Storm Isa. You cursed that in the last episode. It's not interesting. You're, res you're responsible for that. I actually said what a, an abomination it was. And now the wind of oh, sunshine and blue sky. But yeah, last night's wind was a bit... We haven't had it that windy before, have we? No, it was, uh, it was pretty severe, but... The roof stacks are still standing and... We need to check the back. There was something rattling around at the back when I went to bed last night. Well, I mean, this can go. I'm sick of the sight of it as well, so... Well, really? obviously we'll... What, so we can throw it on the rubbish pile? We'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it off in the, in the pile of you, perhaps to be useful in the future stuff. But what about when the flowers come out? Because the sheep are going to eat the flowers. Oh, well. Yeah, we, we do need to, uh, because we've had all the snow and then we've had this big storm, we need to go around and tidy up, don't we? Because everything's starting to look a bit... Tired. You're going to ask me how I feel today, after yesterday's, like, fiasco. How is your back? 50% better. I have found that everything that happens to me on this island, I'm healing much, much quicker than normal. But I, I'm, I have a problem getting up and getting down, but when I'm... I get twinges, 
it's painful, it's still painful, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. Yesterday, I, could, I couldn't walk. Look, I'm tap dancing now, look. Ow. <laughs> I feel like Moses. Just waiting on your reaction. <sighs> oh no. It's not the best news because Scott is out of action at the minute with the chainsaw. But it's also not a surprise. Seriously. Well. That is uh, one heck of God a tree. God provides. There's a lot of uh, wood there, isn't there? It's right over the deer fence. Can you just go and stand next to that? Oh, I can't believe what I'm looking at. How the hell are we going to process that? This is our access point to the cottage. Which is, which is now blocked by a what? A 40 foot tree? How thick is that? I mean, let me hear. It's like four, five foot thick. Right, well, we're going to need to... Well, this is a job for a, a lumberjack, so we've got to get in touch with the owners. The, our problem is our chainsaws aren't equipped to get through that. It's possible that you cut this tree at the right point, that that root ball will just spring back up and it'll lift itself off the fence. I don't think it will. But in the meantime, we obviously need to get in here and do as much as we can to keep this fence working. Right, I'm going to go up uh, and right. just have a look around on the quad and see if anything else is... Uh, occurred. Okay, well can you have a look up at the buyer and see if there's any stock front fencing? Um, there's a little bit down here but not enough to fix that. So We're going to have to, I'm guessing, fix it to the tree, aren't we? Yep, we're going to have to fix it to the tree. Or what about, we can probably fix it between the, the, the poles that are still standing. We can fix it, there's no, I'm not really that fussed about that, it's just having the stuff. Um, have we got any of those? Yeah. You? Yeah. It's heat, I've got heat coming from somewhere, I can fit it on my hands. Right, okay. Alright, see ya. Okay, we have wire. Let's take that.
going to measure the girth of it. <clears throat> well, I think the fence is going to be easy enough to fix by the looks of it. Well, the, one of the problems about cutting this up is going to be how much of a bog is underfoot here. Just interested in measuring the girth of this. That's about the middle. Is that about halfway round there? Well, that's a meter, so at least a four meter girth. Yeah, at least. Yeah. So, do the sheep like fur? I hope so. Yeah, they do. They love it. <laughs> so. Uh, well, the good. That's the good side of this. The good side is plenty of sheep fodder for a while. Uh, and when it's dried out, an abundance of um, firewood. I mean, these are going to be really easy for you to cut off all these branches, but obviously it's just this that um, we're going to need to do some thinking about. Um, I think the fence, so the gate won't shut at the minute, because obviously all of the tensile strength that this is causing, pulling, pulling the gate post this way, so if we if we carefully cut down here, we can reattach down where down here somewhere. We can reattach it to the post. Yep. And everything will go that way, and then we're fixing just this bit, and then the same on that side. That's my master plan. What do you think? Should we get on with it? Attach this. 
I can't get this off. Stupid thing. Here. Hey? This stream here is what's undermined that. Is what's completely undermined the tree. It's incredible. It doesn't take much, does it, when you think of the size and the power of that tree? The, the power of water as well. Um, I propose cable tie or nail, whatever, and nail it to the tree. I'm standing in a patch of brambles. Just get that out of the way for a minute. God, that is just... Are you okay? That's right on my back. I know, that's why I'm worried. <sighs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not, no, I'm not moving, I've just got your arm. Your that's foot. what it was. Your foot. Are you okay? sit down. My hip just gave way. <sighs> Could you pass me some clips and I'll uh, and I'll do it. We can't work on this side. Forget working on this side from now on, it's just too bad. Well, that's going to be the problem with cutting it off, isn't it? Uh, did you get the hammer? Yeah. I've got wellies on, so I'll, you know, I'll be in the bad bit. I'm hoping this is long enough, do you think, before we attach it? You're all right. Do you need me to hold it? No, I'm just trying to bend all these around so it holds it better. And then I can just I can just nail it. <sighs> My back hurts quite a lot. All oh, these fell out now. Two hammers. Yeah, it would have been quicker, but by the time you've gone down there and picked up another hammer. Right. Um, well, do you, do you want to do this bit and I'll hold it? Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, well, we're going to nail that to that and then we're going to uh, cable tie this bit on the bottom. Yeah, aye. And but then the, the deer is still going to run up this and jump over. You're oh. going to have to do that up to this point, yeah? Not go over it. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, okay. So if you just 
get a nail in here. I mean, obviously this will be fixed properly when the tree is out of the way. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, it's just going to pull out. What about that bit at the top? Salty soft. Um. Okay, well, it's going to have to go of its own accord, isn't it? Um, if you can. But right, if you bend if you bend that round, I didn't mean like that here. Let me do it. And then No, the weight of that is just pulling that down. Don't worry about it in a minute. Can you pull that tight? Right, now this bit, if you just, can, if you want to, have you got the snips on your side? Yeah. If you want to just uh, cut that along there, along the, the, that one, yeah. this, this one here. Yeah. I don't... My hands are so cold I can't do it. Down here? Yeah. I'll do. This is what's done it. This flow of water, it's like a small burn that constantly flows. It's just undermined the whole tree. Wait, same again. You think they're just down here? Yeah. Well. Uh, you want to hold it and I'll... Wouldn't it be... Uh... But the less stock fence we use, the better, because we never know what's going to... Oh, do you want to... There. Cut the top one again. Yeah, OK. Shouldn't be under tension. It's not under any tension, I can feel it. You will not escape! Can't help it, that's just what it makes me think of. I don't think I've ever seen the great escape. It's a silly film, but a good film. Um, cable ties and then... Sorry, I thought you were going to give me some more nails, but I've got some in my pocket. I think that bit down there has knock down the fence. Is that not an old fence fell The big one is. That small one I don't think is. My plan is to cable tie these together and then you know. You know. Can we turn it round? Just flip, flip this that way, that's it. 
gives it something to hook on to. Just hold that for a second. It's like uh, doing some kind of uh, knitting, crocheting. You think? Yeah. I'll, I'll get over there and I'll do it properly. I just need to get around here. Get out of this mud. Doesn't want to go, does it? It went. Tell me why I don't like Monday. It's Monday. I don't like the boomtown rats. No? Yes? Don't care? It's not as bad as the one day she was having. But you know what the song's about? No. No, I don't. It's a, a girl that shot up a, load, a school. Well, classmates. She killed all her classmates. Horrible. Yeah. Well, you mentioned it, and she said that the reason that she did it was because she didn't like Mondays. Right, that can now cover that hole. Just have I got any mud on me? No. Okay, that can cover up the hole. If we put this piece that I've cut off and put it in the middle there, are we then done? I know we've got to go down there and look at that bit, yeah. but... Well, that's Apart from that, yeah, we really need to walk the, the whole fence again and check it all. I only walked the, whole, the entirety of the fence the other day. I know. How much? Right. I how long? The fence. How long would you think the fence is around this whole section of the cultivated part of the island. I have no idea. A mile, mile and a half, two miles? Mile and a half, I'd say. Only like that. And a label in the point. My feet are cold. What? No, I've gone and cable tied that. Do you need a hand?
Right, we think that another tree has fallen on the fence down here. I don't remember seeing this the other day when I walked down here. In fact, we need to go and have a look in the orchard. Yeah, that's definitely been come, that's come down this evening. Sorry, yesterday night. Sorry, last night. I'll start again. Yep, that's come down last night. <laughs> They're just going to hop over that. What are they like at uh, walking, you know, walking across logs? <laughs> Don't think they're known to. Yeah, I came down last night. Well, this is uh, more birch. Well, look. Don't fall in. On the positive side, it's more firewood. Until we get in here with a chainsaw, which again, it's, a, it's just difficult. Difficult terrain with a chainsaw. We're just gonna have to, gonna have to get it from that side. How, how high is that fence? Yeah, we're just going to have to do the same again. Can we uh, get down that way to have a look in the orchard to see if anything's come down? Or are we better off walking back? I think we're better off walking back. Okay. Well, let's go and have a look and then I want some lunch. Thank you. 